Good morning, guys. So this week you're learning about plants and gardening, different kinds of plants, how they grow, the parts of them. Um, so this story I'm going to read, it's called, How Do Plants Help Us? So I want you to pay really close attention, put your listening ears on. How Do Plants Help Us? by Bobby Kalman. He's the author. What is a plant? A plant is a living thing. Living things grow and change. Living things need air, water, and sunlight, like us. Most plants have leaves, stems, and roots. Leaves, stems, and roots. Many plants have flowers too. Plants can grow in soil or in water. Here's the flower. These are all the parts of a the plant. These are the leaves. And this is the soil. And then the roots grow underneath. And then some of them have flowers, some of them don't. Plants are the only living things that can make their own food. They use sunlight to make food from air. Plants make food inside their leaves. Plants give us food to eat. So we get food from plants like fruit and vegetables. Here is a plant growing with the sunlight. The sunlight helps it get food. And these are the leaves, this is the stem, this is the soil where it buries its roots inside of it, and then the water goes into the soil. And from the soil, the water goes all the way up the stem like a straw into all the leaves. We eat many kinds of plants. Our bread comes from plants called grains. Fruits and vegetables also come from plants. Many animals also eat plants. They eat the leaves, the roots, stems, flowers, and the seeds of the plants. Some animals eat nectar. Nectar is a sweet liquid you find inside the flowers. So look at them. This is them eating plants, food that we get from plants, like bread from grains and fruits and vegetables. See that? I'm sure all that looks familiar. Here's the squirrel eating his fruit from the plant. And then the butterfly eats the nectar over here. When plants make food, they also make the air cleaner for us to breathe. They change carbon dioxide to oxygen. Too much carbon dioxide is not good to people and animals. Oxygen is a gas that we need to breathe. Plants use carbon dioxide to make food and then they give off the oxygen. So here's the leaf and the leaf uses carbon dioxide, takes in the carbon dioxide from the air, makes the food inside here and then lets out the oxygen. People do the opposite. We take in the oxygen when we breathe in, and then we let out carbon dioxide. <sighs> kind of what plants do. Forests are places with many trees. 
They make a lot of oxygen. They clean the air around the earth. Look at all those trees, all the different kinds of trees around the earth. When the, when the trees and the plants take in the carbon dioxide, they let out the oxygen for us. And it makes the air better for us to breathe. Trees also give us the wood that we need to build our homes. Furniture is made from wood. Paper is made from wood too. Animals also make their homes in trees. Birds, squirrels, and monkeys live in trees. Many animals live in the logs of the trees. So here, they're building a house made of wood and the wood comes from trees. And so does the paper. And there's cute little baby foxes sleeping inside of a tree. Or hiding. Okay. You can grow plants at your home. Planting trees will give you cleaner air. A vegetable garden will give you fresh fruit and vegetables. A flower garden will bring you beautiful butterflies. I think he's growing a tomato there. See that? And this little girl looks like a butterfly. So there's plants and trees all around you. They help us, they clean the air because they let out oxygen for us to breathe and take in. Um, you guys can check in your backyard or even in your house and see if you have plants. I have quite a few. So here's some over here. And then I have some over here. And then I have a lot back there. So check your backyard or in your house to see if you have plants. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.